Happening today, the NYPD is on heightened security after former President Donald Trump this past weekend encouraged his supporters to protest in New York City this week. It comes as Trump claims he could be indicted tomorrow for campaign finance violations tied to payments allegedly made to adult film star Stormy Daniels. This is new video into our newsroom this afternoon of NYPD officers beefing up security. They are setting up barricades near the downtown courthouse. CBS News John Diaz has the very latest from outside Manhattan criminal court. Yeah, good afternoon. And CBS News has learned that Trump's legal team is looking to discredit the key witness, the star witness here in this case, Michael Cohen today, calling on an attorney to appear in front of a grand jury in what could be a last ditch effort. It's the closest the country has ever been to indicting a former president and Donald Trump saying over the weekend he believes his indictment could come as early as tomorrow. We've never in the history of the United States of America been in this situation. The pending indictments stem from the Manhattan District Attorney's investigation into alleged hush money payments to women who say they had sexual encounters with Mr. Trump, including adult film actress Stormy Daniels. Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen, claims he wrote the checks in coordination with and at the direction of Donald Trump, but the Republican denies it occurred. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman. If you were going to take the unprecedented step to go and indict a former president, wouldn't we have rather seen it been about January 6th? Wouldn't we have rather seen that it was in Georgia about election interference? But we don't have the luxury of the rather. On his social media platform, Truth Social, Mr. Trump has been urging his supporters to protest and, quote, take our nation back. The message has put New York City and federal law enforcement on alert. That was an attempt to get ahead of the story, to try to, uh, you know, control control the uh, narrative about that. And also significantly, it was an attempt to raise money. Alan Sanders is a political science professor who says the support Donald Trump is getting from Republicans right now is just them playing politics. And that's what Republicans are most concerned about. They would very much like Donald Trump to go away. But they understand that politically, the MAGA wing of the party, which is a substantial wing, really determines primary elections in many states. And due to safety reasons, legal experts say that if we do see Donald Trump get indicted, we will likely not see him get arrested in handcuffs on the streets, but instead he will likely have the option to self-surrender. From Lower Manhattan, John Diaz, CBS 2 News.